The white flame in itself, when you're clairvoyant, looks exactly like its name. It's a beautiful white-colored flame. But the white in itself is not quite like the density of the white that we have in this realm. It's very translucent, crystalline, and etherically beautiful. It's almost indescribable by words. The white flame in itself also is often used to clarify and purify ourselves. Now you can use it on anything, whether it's for your auric field, for your chakras, for your mental or mindset, for your emotional body, for your light body. The white flame has a very light quality. And those of you that have worked with a lot of angels or um, high vibrational uh, elementals like unicorns, you would have known that vibration of just purity. It's so pure, it's so light and almost like fluffy, like a feather. Those of you that are familiar with working with flame light codes, you will notice that the white flame is very different than the violet flame or the blue flame. The white in itself just creates a lot of innocence, a lot of purity. So when you're working with your inner child, and if you're working on releasing some past trauma or experiences that you've gone through, I find that the white flame is so pure and so helpful for that, especially just sharing myself as an example, where if you were young and your body was have received any form of physical abuse, like hitting in any way that you feel is still imprinted in your body, working with your inner child, your present self, and then invoking the white flame can help burn away and purify the body and to release some of those unwanted energy that you've experienced in your past. Now, the white flame also, because of its gentle energy, doesn't force us to uh, forgive, let's say, a certain experience we have received in our childhood. But it does help us come into a state of grace, which means having more patience with ourselves, which means having more wholesomeness for ourselves instead of being more judgmental and be like, why am I not releasing this pattern? Why is it still coming up? When you turn on the white flame, those thoughts goes away and you shift into this frequency of, I understand those are my past experiences and I can wholesomely see that it's rising because it wants love. I'm going to give it that love and in, in doing so, when you release that resistance or bypassing, the magic happens. That part of you calms down and it becomes more peaceful, more at ease. And then from this more peaceful, more at ease state of being, your inner child or that wounded part of yourself, your body, have more space to work with you. And so this is very good when you are meeting a block or wall, when you're doing shadow work or working on your past trauma, when you start to feel like you're hitting that wall and it's just not going forward, invoking the white flame clears away these density and help you seek with more clarity of what you need to do or what is the vibration that you need at this time to come into a wholesome state of being. A lot of times, spiritual practices are not always about being happy. Right? Going in to work with your inner child, you don't have your intention set to make them happy. You go in there to explore, to reconnect, to embrace, accept, and acknowledge. So it's a very different intention going in, working with your inner child. Given said that, those of you that work a lot in the healthcare field, where you touch a lot of people, let's say a massage therapist, a nurse, a doctor, a chiropractor, um, or if you deal with a lot of people in customer service or as a teacher, invoking the white flame at the end of your workday, before you step into your own home, I would invite you to just stay before of your door Invoke the white flame to cleanse away any energies that's not really yours, that you don't necessarily need to carry it into your own home. And feel the difference. Do this consistently for a few days to really see the difference it makes into your own mental state and the way that you rest when you get home.
channelers that are more advanced can use the white flame to cleanse your portals. So if you enter portals, if you work with portals, uh, if you close or open portals, using the white flame for purification and cleansing is very helpful. I hope these tips have helped you get started working with the white flame. For more teachings on light codes, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you are someone that's like me, that's, that's like a spiritual nerd and you like to learn and you like to expand your consciousness more, please feel free to check out some of my training courses on dragon light codes, angelic light codes. It would be my honor to work with you. Now go out there, shine your light and work your magic. See you in the next video. Bye.